Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Samsung released One UI 8 Beta 4 that I have here on my S25 Ultra to show you everything new. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the build number and the update size. The OTA image is 1.33 gigabytes and I updated from ZYF8 to ZYGB. And let me show you the full build number under settings, software update. And you will see here the full build number ending in ZYGB. And it comes with the 1st of July security patch. Let's start with the new changes in the lock screen. And on the left, you will see screenshots from the previous versions of One UI 8 to see the difference between the two when needed. And the first change here is related to the lock screen editing page. So when you go to the editing page and then go to wallpapers, you will see a redesigned gallery section. Here you get quick access to the recent photos you have, and then you have the favorites, videos, and download. And from here you get a carousel suggesting some photos. So when you tap on it, it will show you the full list of suggestions in a grid view. The second change is related to the clock. For some reason, the size is much smaller than before. This is the biggest size I can get now in beta 4, which is much smaller than One UI 7. Plus, when you try to reposition the clock, now we have this new placeholder saying notifications will appear here that you only see when you start repositioning to let you know where the notifications will be displayed. And when it comes to the Nowborn, now it has a noticeably stronger haptic feedback when you switch between the items. On One UI 7, the haptic feedback was very, very subtle to a point that you don't even think that you have a haptic feedback, but now you can definitely feel it when you switch between items. One more change related to the media controls. Now the like and shuffle buttons switched places. Before jumping to the next chapter, if you like any of the wallpapers you see in this video, you can find them in the wallpapers by in-depth tech reviews app. And you have the ability to download these wallpapers locally on device to apply any styling effects offered by the operating system, which will make your wallpaper look even better. You will find Google Play Store download link in the description. And now let's get back to One UI 8 Beta 4. Now let's talk about the new changes in the home screen. And the first one is the smaller widgets when compared to the previous versions of One UI 8 as shown here in the screenshot but still bigger than One UI 7, so it's now somewhere in between the two. The widget speaker itself also got the same treatment, and when you expand something like the battery, for example, you will see that the previews are now narrower than the previous versions. So that's it when it comes to the home screen. Now let's talk about the new changes under settings, and the first one is the availability of the Linux terminal under the developer options. Here you have something called run Linux terminal on Android and all you need to do is to turn on the switch. Once you do this and then search for the terminal app, you will find it and it requires 525 megabytes of data to be downloaded. Then you need to tap on install to get it up and running. Unfortunately, I got this error message after the download finished. It says failed to recover from an error. You can try resetting terminal or try one of the recovery options. When I tap on recovery, it tells me to reset to initial version, which will wipe everything from the terminal. I tried this multiple times, but it doesn't work. Beside this, there is a minor change under settings when you go to notifications and then notification pop-up style. Now you will see a new description for the lighting effect color by keyword. So these are all the new features I spotted after installing beta 4, but let's take a look at the change log to see what else we've got. The first item says added Samsung IMS service emergency update feature to support high quality voice, video, and enhanced chat services on Galaxy devices. And it says that a notification or pop-up may occur for IMS service update and restart consent to test the feature. The second one is the support for full screen switching while playing videos using DeX. Previously, when you play videos, the app header and the taskbar stays on the screen, which is very distracting. But with beta 4, now you can play videos in full screen view without any distractions. I tested this feature myself and it works 100%. Then we have multiple fixes that come with this build. The first one is a fix for an operational issue with Galaxy AI reply suggestions. Then we have a fix for a loading issue when Pixby routine commands are triggered via voice. 
then a fix for a display issue in quick launch icon area on the lock screen fixed an issue with editing iNavy dash cam videos in the gallery app fixed an issue where the message fingerprint sensor not responding appeared on the lock screen fixed an issue with outgoing calls when attempting swipe to call from the contacts list with talkback enabled fixed a flickering issue of the vertical or horizontal level indicator when switching from front to rear camera and finally enhanced software stability through updates to multiple apps by this we covered all the new changes and bug fixes now let's talk about my experience with the performance it's definitely much better than the previous betas of one ui 8 everything runs smoothly no glitches no issues or whatsoever everything works as expected and I did a quick Geekbench score to see what happened. Here I have 9,888 multi-core score and 3,126 single core, which is much better than the one I did in June. It was 9,303 and 2,906. So you see here a big difference between the two. So that's pretty much it for today. That's everything I wanted to show you in One UI 8 Beta 4. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.